Hello YouTube, hello MGTOW, this is me, MGTOW on the wind. Like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, hit the bell icon. And if you don't like this video, dislike it, leave a comment in the comment section. You know, I'm not even gonna ask you, you know. But if you want this, like, if you, if you want to be miserable because you're watching a video you don't like on any of my videos, oh, go ahead, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now, here's why my stance on American women is what it is. On dating in America, dating American women, dating America in general. Let's start out this. First off, finding a decent woman in America is like trying to find a piece of straw in a needle stack. Yeah, piece of straw in a needle stack. thing that why well, I'm not dating in America, especially an American woman. Why well, I said no college no college degrees. It's nothing about empowerment. It has nothing to do with empowerment. Zero, nil, nada, zilch. It has to do with my stance on colleges. It has everything to do with my stance on colleges. And what I've seen driving past colleges on truck routes. Picking people up and dropping them off. Deliveries. Tusculum University. Tennessee University. Kentucky University, Ohio, Pitt, Penn State, CMU, Point State, Georgia, Florida, North and South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama. Roll damn tide, right? The small bits that I've seen of USC. Arizona State. They're all indoctrinating whorehouses. That's all colleges are. See, what it was was after the kids were grown and on their own the husband would send, would, would, would allow, would, would send a wife to the college, you know, would pay for the college for, for his wife, right? So that she can then bring an education to the grandchildren, leaving, leaving behind books and knowledge. Leaving behind books and knowledge. Leaving behind books, knowledge, and a way to uplift their family. Books, knowledge, and a way and a means to uplift their family.
That's what college was for. And they didn't have to take out loans. Nobody had to take out a loan for it. The husband could pay for the four years with his paycheck, with his hourly wage. They made it so that your hourly wage cannot pay for college. That you're going to be in debt for 30 freaking years. Why they freaking frozen, furloughed? Because pretty soon, some of them cars is gonna be defunded. A lot of them cars is gonna be defunded. Oh well. no cause degrees. Now if it was reputable and it had knowledge and the person was, was, was going to end up indoct an indoctrinated whore, no problem. No problem. But that's why I said no college. Now this is why my stance on dating black women is what the way it is. Now, I want you to rewind back to, I think it was, I'd say about 2000, someone, oh, what was that? 2002, 2000. 2002 and 2003. R. Kelly was on trial. For molestation charges. They could have nailed him. But the only thing they were going to do, they were trying to do, is they're trying to wear that money down. Trying to wear his money out. Talked to his ex-wife's wife. Been married three times. Now, fast forward. 2017, 18, maybe even 19. Fast forward 17. Um, he's on trial again for a sex cult. So they had this dude buried, right? Somebody tell me how in the world he came up with the bail. Now there's two stories that I've heard. He has a colleague, a friend, a, a, a friend, female friend, that pretty much gave him the money to go to, to get bail, or. Women of the black community pulled together their money and their resources to bail them out of jail. Okay. But if, if that's the case, why am I going to date trash? 
who's going to sell literally, who's going to literally, if I want to have a daughter, sell her out. Sell her out. And 18, 19, I think the same year, a man who's had his titles redacted, rescinded, left destroyed, who's an old man who has left a positive impact or supposedly who's tried to leave a positive impact on the black community. We can't rally behind him. Someone who's did their best to make a positive impact within the black community, we can't rally behind him? Okay. And that's why I won't date black people. So we so pretty much this is and, and that's another reason why I, I accept that I'm gonna die single and childless. This is another reason why I accept that fact. Why why I'm so accepting Dying single and childless. Because everything, I mean, I mean, I mean, fast forward to after Bill Cosby. Now, fast forward to the day. two things going against us. We got the fact that we support the criminals, but when when a person who's of, who's doing his best for society gets laid out, we don't do a damn thing for him, right? So when a person is making threats, terroristic threats, we are quick to 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 to, to, to raise him up on a pedestal. But when a person has a degree, has a license of a practitioner, a license. Operate equipment, a license to machine to, as a machining, a machinist license, a welding license, someone who's promoting putting pushing businesses. We literally let him let him piss. We are quick to let him piss. Right? We're quick to let him piss, right? Okay. Which shows that my life doesn't matter unless they rob, unless they rob me, unless they didn't get the chance to rob and kill me first, right? Is that what we're going with? Okay. Which tells me that I'm doomed. Okay. Okay.
So these Christians have a right to rob and kill me, right? That's nice. Now, the reason I have accepted that is that another reason. We have been devalued. We have devalued. People have devalued themselves. I'm not saying all black people. I'm saying the ones that are burning, looting, and murdering. That are claiming they are with Antifa, right? We've been devalued. All the advancements in technology. All of the inventions that we've put out, all of the discoveries in science and medical science, right? We have been devalued. Our value has dropped in an SMV. Because we, to, we promote debauchery. And we leave any type of resource, re, recourse to the wayside, right? In 1,000 feet, merge onto I-81 South. You would have to flip the man to allow us to, 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 to allow us to pass, right? Now, it's the reason why I think the way I do. And then you got. Continue on I-81 South for 20 miles. We're defied by... We're de we are a, a not of a value to a lot of other communities. Because of that. Because of the debauchery. Because we just... We, because of... The support of debauchery. And it sucks that, you, that I have to accept it. It's a hard pill to swallow. It sucks. It's a hard pill to swallow. It is. 
You gotta accept it for what it is, you know? And that's what I say. I can live on, I mean, don't, I'm, I can live on to my channel if I do it right. But, uh, I'm gonna have to partake in a mirror project, you know? In case something happens. But, uh, this is McTown in the Wind. Actually, I'm not finished yet. Another thing is, like, I grew up with two generations of married people. My grandmother, my grandfather, my mother, my father. I've seen a healthy relationship. Two of them. In their own way, for the generation. I've seen a healthy relationship in their own way for their generation. What does that mean? I'm going to tell you what it means. It means... For their generation, it was healthy. Now, mind you, it took my dad three tries. So I can only imagine how many tries it's going to take me. Took my brother, took my brother six. I mean, but he didn't get married. He just got stuck paying child support. today, until a couple years ago. funny. He's trying to tell me that Mary's wife is okay. Okay. say, but we'll see in nine years, eight years. I don't 
through that settlement crap. This time for real. This is Big Town the Win. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section and hit the bell icon. If you don't like this video, dislike it. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you want this video and many others like this video to make you miserable, go right ahead. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll be sure to keep on pushing out this here content to make you miserable. Whenever I feel like it. Alright, this is Mick Town Win, signing off.